Greetings YouTubers, this is TransformerDude101 with a video review of this time a train. Um, I got this on Tuesday and I've been looking forward to this for months. I was very lucky to get one. It is the Hornby Flying Scotsman USA Tour train back. Limited edition 2000. As you can see, it is of course the Flying Scotsman. She comes with her water tender and an observation car. The Flying Scotsman US Tour 1969. Now, for those of you who know, well, for those of you who don't know a lot about the Flying Scotsman, um, in 1969 she did go over to America. In fact, there's a bit of bio here which I might as well read. I don't know if you can read it on your computers. I might see if you you might just be able to make it out. In 1969, the Flying Scotsman, which was at the time under the ownership of Mr. Alan Pegler, was destined to make a long journey to the United States of America, where it travelled some 2,200 miles from Boston to Dallas and then on to Houston. The train pulled by the Flying Scotsman was principally a trade train, but amongst the vehicles was a former Devon Bell observation car, which was eventually, having toured with the train, left in San Francisco where it remained before being repatriated some 30 years later. I hope I said that right. This pack is representative of Flying Scotsman and the observation car as they they were both they were sorry as they were before the long trip to the USA in 69 this limited edition of just 2000 pieces with a number certificate including included with each pack so that's just a little bit about the pack it, um i'll just move this back a bit Right, the box itself. Now, the box is very, very nice, made of a very nice plastic. Of course, you have a picture there of the train pack, and you have um, the line from the old British Rails crest, the early crest, which I think is a, it's a very nice touch. Sorry about that. Trains for the collectors. Of course, this is a collectible item. A nice little um, American flag here. You have plenty of pictures of the um, of the packets of what's in the pack. Of course, you have this um, little bit here, and you do get a little bit more information. Um, let's see, uh, limited to just two thousand pieces. This special celebrity celebratory pack contains an A3 class flying Scotsman locomotive with two tenders and a Pullman observation car together with a numbered limited edition certificate. A beacon of modern achievement, Flying Scotsman represents the golden age of British ingenuity and invokes the glamour, elegance and romance of the Art Deco period. The locomotive was acquired by the National Railway Museum in 2004 and forms part of the National Collection. You actually have, right there, the website, flyingscotsman.org.uk. Um, and there's a little bit of information about the loco itself. In 1928, Flying Scotsman was the first steam locomotive to travel non-stop from London to Edinburgh and the first to break 100 mile, the 100 mile an hour speed barrier. The engine and its exhibition, the Flying Scotsman, provo sorry, provide a unique reflection of our social and cultural heritage, offering both museum visitors and travellers an unravelled opportunity to experience the power and the passion of this legendary locomotive. And there's a little bit there, but... That's a bit of legal mumbo-jumbo there, so I won't even bother 
reading that. All right. Well, I think there's nothing left to do but to open the pack. I'm sorry if my speech hasn't been too clear. In fact, I know it hasn't been too clear because <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, it's been a long day. All right. Just put that to one side. All right. Now you do have this bit of um, protective card, so I'll just take that away. I have already opened it to look at this. Now, there is the certificate of authentic authentication. Um, basically, what it says there, basically, what was on the front of the box. Limited edition numbers, signature of the man in charge, and the actual logo of the Flying Scotsman, which is a very nice touch. Uh, this is very nice. This is the kind of thing you'd want to frame. Alright. And, of course, you have the insulating sleeve, if you want to make it DCC. But um, I have been told that these aren't all useful. They, they don't, they're not the ones you need, so it's kind of useless, really. I don't see why they do that. And you have the instruction manual of basic maintenance and operating her. Um, so, you know, that's so you can keep everything nice and clean and in order. Uh, of course, you do get pickups in the tender. You still get pickups in the tender, which I think is very good. But they've um, changed the coupling, so you get this kind of.